breaking news right now at 630. Your first alert traffic reporter Brian Sherrod and your reporter Joel Hillen are at the desk are working on all the angles of a storage facility fire in Boulder. We start with Brian though at the closure on Arapahoe Avenue near Cherryvale. How's that looking Brian? Well, good morning, Brian and Michelle. We can tell you the closure is still in effect because of this right behind us. You can actually see that it's a problem because the fire is blocking this section of Arapahoe Avenue. This is between 55th and Cherryvale. Now we can tell you that multiple crews like you're seeing right behind us is actually here on scene. But the biggest problem is the multiple people who keep driving through this area. Now we know it's closed in both directions. People are still taking Old Tail Road and trying to drive both directions. And now it's causing crews to have to keep going out of their way to move so that these cars can get through just take baseline road so it's easier for you to get around this storage facility fire response that all the crews are here on scene working on right now. They did put earlier on Twitter this happened around three o'clock, maybe a little bit before that, but they're also saying the closures should be in effect for the next four to six hours. It might even get extended a little longer. So Brian and Michelle, the closures here in this area still becoming a huge problem. But of course, we'll keep you updated throughout the morning and let you know when they are planning to reopen when we learn more about it. Okay, Brian, thank you. In the meantime, Joel Hillen also gathering more information about that fire from the desk. Joel, you're getting new images from Boulder Fire right now. Yeah, both from Boulder Fire and one of the very first things that we do here at the desk is figure out how we can see this fire. Uh, that was going to be copter for us this morning when Brian Sherrod uh, wasn't able to angle just right to see some of the flames that they said were remaining. I want to take you out to some of those images we're getting live from copter right now that is over this storage facility yeah. fire. And you can see that about 14 of these storage units were infected. Uh, suffering heavy smoke and fire damage. This according to Boulder Fire and Rescue. Uh, they say between 12 and 14, so as many as 14 units, but 45 personnel out there on the scene working to get this under control. And it looks like uh, even though as of 5.30 this morning, they still had one storage facility uh, that needed some mitigation for fire that they have been able to get that under control. I want to show you uh, the pictures coming in from Boulder Fire Rescue this morning. Take a look at these. Uh, pretty stunning. As they get there, they've got to, you know, get into the storage units so they can uh, vent the ceiling and then uh, try and get to this fire. And some of these images coming in here very powerful this morning. We are appreciative of the 45 personnel who are on scene getting this under control uh, this morning. Uh, some real heroes out there and Brian and Michelle. Now the crews will stay there and try and figure out, uh, you know, keep it under control, all the hotspots under control. And then investigators have to come in and figure out what started this fire and who, if anyone, is responsible for it. Yeah, it feels like we've been having a lot of these storage fires over the past maybe three months or so. Exactly. This yeah. is the third one in the last three months. Yeah. All right, Joel, thank you so much. Let's get over to First Alert Meteorologist.